Hi everyone, today we're gonna to show you two beautiful rainbow activities. These are really simple to do, super fun, and great for learning. Rainbow rainbow. Rainbows, and I love yours. rainbows. Let's go. For the cotton ball art, rainbow colored paint, cotton balls, clothes pins, canvas or card, white card stock, glue gun and glue. Come on in girls. Hey, are y'all ready to do some fun crafts? Uh -huh. This is going to be so much fun. It is, it's gonna be so much fun. Not a plate for me. A yellow plate for you. Green plate for Mary. And blue plate for McClay. Yay! Rainbow. First, let's start with the basic how-to. For this activity, we're gonna make a rainbow with a DIY paintbrush. You'll need a piece of plain paper or cardstock, and then to get started, we'll make your paintbrush hack. Kids love hacks like the rest of us. First, you'll need a clothespin and a cotton ball, and simply clip them to each other. And voila, a paintbrush. We're gonna take this clothespin and we're gonna make our own paintbrush by grabbing a cotton ball. We're gonna clip it on and make our own paintbrush. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. You'll wanna take your colors and just dab into the color and put it right on the paper. You can swipe like a paintbrush or just swirl into a circle. Dab your cotton ball in your red. Get a good bit of paint on there, okay. And now you can start in the corner, or you can start at the top. We're gonna make a circle. I have a circle. Good job, good, do a circle. Now do another circle right beside that. Fine motor skills are really great for your kids to learn how to move their fingers and strengthen their muscles and know where to plan to move their hands. This is a great process for all young kids to go through. They'll need to know for tying shoes, typing, and writing. You're kind of making a rainbow rectangle. Yes, I am. You're doing good. I don't know. It's okay. That's it's okay if they overlap. It's, it's art. It's okay. Try and see if you can take the cotton ball and instead of swiping yeah. it like a brush, see if you can do like this and it make a twist. Right there. Can you twist and make a circle? You may also want to take some cotton balls and just glue them on like clouds. All right. Are you ready to put some clouds on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to help. I'm going to hot glue the clouds on so they'll stick to our paper. Okay. Can you show me? Yeah. Put a little bit of glue on. And then pinch right here, don't touch the glue, and then put it on the paper. Where do you want it? Right there? Just a little dab of glue under there. Taking a little paint. There you go. Crafts are absolutely amazing learning opportunities. You have something at the end to show for it, but the process is super valuable. What do you imagine is around your rainbow? King. Is there an animal of some kind? McLean, you love horses. Look, look at that! A panda. This activity is bright and colorful no matter what. But if you want an extra educational boost with your kids, talk about what you're making. A paintbrush. What does a paintbrush have? It has a part of a handle. It also has the brush. And you're going to take common household items to make this. A clothespin and a cotton ball. This is really great for their minds to think about creativity and how to come up with solutions to everyday problems. Are y'all ready for the next activity? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this time we're gonna make another kind of rainbow. We're gonna make a rainbow in a jar. <gasps> for the rainbow in a jar, mason jar, cotton balls, mixing cups, water, stirring utensil, placemats, plates, rainbow paint, glitter, washi tape. Now that you've created your rainbow on paper, let's create a rainbow in a jar. We'll fill the cup up halfway or about four ounces, and add about a tablespoon of paint. Just pour it right in and give it a stir. I'm gonna put some water in here. We're gonna put a little bit of paint and then I'm gonna have you stir. I'm gonna put a little glop in there. I think we're gonna have to stir it up, don't you? Yeah. In this activity, learning how to work together and do steps in order is really important. Can I Stir, stir, stir. Once it's mixed, you'll take cotton balls. You'll probably need about 20. Kind of pull and stretch them apart and put them in the water. Now, the next step is we're gonna take these cotton balls and I want you to kind of pull them apart just a little bit. Now, everybody put cotton balls, enough cotton balls in each one of your colors to kind of soak up the water. We don't wanna see any white, okay? 
McLean, you need some more in yours. So we want to soak up the water, okay? So we're gonna have to put a lot more cotton balls in yours. Okay. Shove them down in there, but just don't spill. A lot. It's marshmallow. <laughs> okay, tell me when you think you're done. Um, I think it needs a little more. A little bit more? Yeah. <laughs> McLean, how about some more in your, um, sure, sure, put maybe sure. three more in both of your colors. Once your cotton balls are saturated with the color, you'll pour it right on top and layer it. You'll end up having all six colors layered in your jar. Spread them out until the jar is full and your colors are layered, and then add a little glitter for some extra sparkle. Pour the purple in. Boop. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Now, let's add a little sparkle. You wanna take some glitter and sprinkle some in? See that? The next color? Friends, the first one wins is the last. We had a little trouble getting the cotton balls from the cup to the jar, so we had to troubleshoot and figure out what was the best way to make that happen. Scoop it in there like this. I like the sound of the Oh, then, on your end? Then our red. I get shake it. Shake it down in there. I think we planned that out perfectly, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Good job. Then top it off with your top of your jar. And for some extra color, add some colorful washi tape to decorate the top. This will make it fun for your kids to pick different colors and it'll also help seal the jar. And there you have it, a rainbow in a jar. I got it, I got it. Twist it the other way, the other way. You're opening it, let's close it. So we're gonna decorate the top of our rainbow with some tape. Very Look, Christmas. Christmas. Oh. I'm going to fight your snowball. Oh, so pretty. What do you think about our rainbow and a jar? How pretty. You love it? Yeah. That's awesome. I just can't barely see the blue because of the green. The green's kind of smushing into the blue. All in all, this activity looks great and is great for hands and minds too. Rainbow, rainbow in, in a jar. Get ready, set, and let's rainbow it up. Don't forget to share with us what you learned with the Show Me How community and share any tips and tricks below in the comments. Thanks for watching.